Hey guys, what is up? It is Alexander here back with Tactical Investing. And in today's video, I do want to provide an update on some major changes that have happened as far as different miners that are available now through Helium. One that has been kind of under the scenes and kind of been underground with its development. We haven't had any images. We haven't really had anything. And now all of a sudden they have pretty much one last step before they possibly launch their miner. So realize there's a lot of things to talk about. We'll talk about light hotspots toward the end of the video. We'll talk about some updates from different suppliers and talk about SenseCap. That is some major news possibly coming from them. And then talk about some other opportunities as well. So all I ask is if you find value in this video is hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you have yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you are notified when I drop a video. And if you do want early access to opportunities like these in the stock market cryptos, mining cryptos, there's a link down below in the description for the private Discord. And after I put on some aloe, <laughs> we'll jump in the video. Let's go. All right, so we are going to first start talking about the status tracker just kind of getting some updates first talking about SenseCap, talking about the one that's kind of been behind the scenes really been underground with its development then talk about light hotspots and then talk about fair spot which is a program that i talked about i was talking about getting a free miner we'll do a little bit on the details behind that and then i mentioned something from nebra as well but the one that really has struck me to be very much undercover uh, undercover is the smart mimic finestra and what's interesting is we knew Smart Mimic are already partners with Helium with their Smart Mimic Go, which is kind of like a tracking device. Now, the Finestra was going to be their miner. Now, what's interesting is all that we've seen in the last update was that they had the HIP approval uh, received, the application, and the DWAT. That was all that we had. Now we have FCC verification. We see hardware audit pass. We see onboarding. We see submit integration complete we pretty much see everything and now pre-orders begin but we don't have even the image of this device which is bewildering to me and, and really gets under my skin just for the simple fact that every other supplier and manufacturer has given images or majority of them of their product they've talked about it a little bit more pricing but we're just kind of left in the dark with smart mimic finestra so that is really what i'm going to be trying to tackle while i'm still on vacation but i'm really going to try to find as much as I can find the find what is this device even look like? Well, I mean, we don't even have any information on this other than the name and some really specs. Um, so, and what it looks like is they only have FCC approval. So that means only in the US. I'm not sure if they're trying to get CE approval to be developed in Europe, but from what we see right now, it's only going to be in the US. Now, as far as pre-orders beginning, I'm not sure when those pre-orders are going to start. But that is really the one, because if you just go to their homepage, all they have is the Smart Mimic Go. They don't have anything else in the, in the Mimic Track. But there's nowhere on the website I could find the Finestra. And even trying to do research, I'm really going to have to put my research skills to the test to see how much I can dig up on this Finestra device. Now, moving on to SenseCap, this is the one that almost everyone is interested in because of the simple fact that they are the closest to launching this device and this is going to be available in the United States and the EU. It's not going to be like, like Long AP, which was only in the EU and made me quite frustrated that there was only a one area launch. Now, SenseCap is going to be both e EU and US, which means only one thing and that's going to be even more demand and more people trying to get onto the website. So I really don't hope it's going to be a long AP 2.0 and if you know what I mean you know what I mean uh, now what was interesting the last time I talked about SenseCap they just had the landing page for their device they didn't actually have the whole website built out now they recently built out the entire website and you pretty much see everything that is on there you even have uh, Helium's hotspot maps and information there on Helium as well um, but outside of that, they really don't have a lot of information. You go to the products page, you can click learn more, but there's not a pre-order. There's nothing like that yet. Um, but you can definitely go to all their uh, different resources. And then the one thing I'll be covering later is talking about their distributors. 
because that is the most important part. Because, as you remember from my initial video, their first launch is going to be through their distributors. So, realize that this is going to be, we may see a list up here. They did say everything was going to be official on their Twitter and the, in the Discord. But I would expect to see something to happen somewhere here on the website, possibly under distributors. As soon as they show who those are, we would know who is going to be selling the M1 miners, and that's going to be huge. I hope to expect something this week. They did say in about two weeks. Last week, uh, that they last week they said it was going to be about two weeks. So sometime this week, hopefully, we'll see an update on who these distributors are, so we can kind of go ahead and pre-plan for when they start dropping orders. That brings us to talking about white hot spots, and then we'll talk about fair spot in just a second. Now, the last time I've, I've covered light hotspots in general, but the last time I focused on the milestones was a little bit ago, so I wanted to provide a major update and the fact that milestone 1.5 is no longer uh, you know, uh, ongoing. It is now pending activation on mainnet. It's expected to happen early July, and then we're going to move on to milestone 2, which only gets us that much closer to milestone 3. That's the biggest milestone. So what will happen... Once this is completed, data only hotspots will be added to the blockchain and you'll see their location on the Helium map. Now, milestone two, those data only hotspots will start earning HT for data transfer. And then, milestone three is the big one where all approved hotspots will start earning, including light hotspots, HT for proof of coverage and data transfer. So, that is going to be a huge deal especially for those who are getting the initial batch of curling miners in July. Hopefully we will see milestone two and milestone three completed in the July timeframe. So those who get those devices can start earning H and T from proof of coverage and from data transfer. Now, some updates on fair spot. I talked about fair spot towards the end of May. And I talked about how this was an opportunity for those who didn't want to get invested personally into a helium miner and wanted the, to deleverage them of that risk they could order a fair spot device which was by far the most fair earning split potential you earn 70 percent of the rewards they earn 30 percent and then after 500 days of uptime they give the entire ownership of the device to you so it was by far the best program out there comparatively speaking now the problem was that they were we were told somewhat to the first of June, second week of June, and the latest kind of third week of June, that we should see spots open back up. Well, the problem is that the devices that they're getting, they used to do rack miners, now they're doing Nebra, and they were looking to get the first batch of Nebra devices. Well, the problem is Nebra, well, isn't the best at keeping up to their expectations. In fact, here, they had to even post out a message earlier today talking about they're not smoke and mirrors. They've been given, they're given estimates based on projections based on their suppliers, which is quite frustrating because from what I've been told, their supplier, they're not even on the ground with their su suppliers and manufacturers to make sure everything is getting done. So in a lot of ways, it's not really looking out to the most potential to the end user, you and me, and those who are trying to get these miners. It's very I mean, you're maybe U.S. and then you've got China. You know, that communication can always be frustrating. And by not having someone on the ground there to make sure everything works properly is only causing more issues and more delaying. Because if you remember, the first batch was supposed to be towards May and we're already in July. So that is why they've had a lot of delays um, and it's been pushed from May to June and now July. So hopefully we see something from them rather shortly. This is what <laughs> uh, Fairspot had to say, and it was quite interesting because it did actually take shots at Nebra for this. They mentioned that we know it's been frustrating waiting for the application to open, hence it's already almost two weeks late. We're disappointed with our manufacturer, Nebra, and has recently had some a call with them. As far as updates, they said that they, they had delays with their third-party logistics provider, Flowship, so they didn't want to take, you know, ownership of the, the issue and, and kind of push it off on Flowship. They admitted that they scaled up too quickly and handled everything poorly. Uh, so kind of a huge debacle there. But what's interesting is that they have clarified some things and that they should have the hotspots in seven to 10 days, uh, but they have 
very low confidence in that. So hopefully within about a week or two, we should see more spots open up. They said that they should be receiving around 98% of the rest of the orders. Currently, they were only receiving about 2%. Now they're getting the rest of 98%. And as soon as they can count how many they have to have, then they'll open back up the opportunity on their website, which you should see here to be able to sign up for the opportunity to get that free hotspot on their page and be a host for them and earn 70% of the rewards. So do expect that to happen in about a week or two. If you have been on the really waiting for this to happen, that is going to be coming very, very soon. So there's a lot of changes and obviously the biggest one being Smart Mimic. I'm still a little frustrated that I don't have any more information and have been kind of kept in the dark with all my research on the device and the Finestra, but I'm gonna to try to do my best, see if I can dig up some information and do a little bit of investigating as to the overall device and why it's gone pretty much through the entire approval process without me or you seeing anything on the product. So I hope this update was helpful. I hope that you maybe got some information, maybe you got some timelines that you were looking for, maybe some questions that you needed answered. So if you did find value in this video, all I ask is that you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you have yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you are notified when I drop a video. And if you do want early access to opportunities like this in the stock market, cryptos, mining cryptos, there's a link down below in the description for the private discord. I hope to see you in there. Until next time, guys, stay invested.